we have um, three of our Tempe Union High School um, high schools here. We have Marcos, DB, and Mountain Point competing today with their cardboard folks. This was primarily in our advanced classes, so either Engineering 3-4 or Engineering 5-6. The whole idea is basically looking at um, Bernoulli's principle and seeing how boats you know, float, the buoyancy with that. So it's applying the engineering design algorithm, it's using mathematics and the modeling aspect to make sure that their designs are actually going to be successful. Well really we knew that we had to make a very strong bottom because we didn't want the bottom to fall out and then we just made it like every other boat and then we decided we need more buoyancy because we thought it was going to sink so we added those buoyancy boxes on the side. So because it was cardboard we wanted to see a wooden boat's design because we figured it would be similar to it. So we spent a lot of time researching like old-fashioned cargo ships. Instead of making it a cardboard sides, it's just straight up duct tape. So it's got a soft bottom, which makes it a lot lighter. And that was basically what we were going for. So what the kids do is they're starting here. You'll see there's three boats right behind me. So we have um, three or four heats of three boats. And they're all starting with no push or anything like that. So it's all from a, a dead start and they're being timed. So the best timed boats are gonna be the winners. Um, if we have time and if the boats all survive, we'll actually do a final round with the top three teams to actually really decide who's first, second, and third in the competition. There is also a boat design challenge. So we've had a couple of judges going around and, and um, assessing the creativity of the engineers with their boats. And there's a uh, basically a winner for boat, best boat design. Get ready, get pumped, and get your boats ready to go in the water.